You know what? It seems like every time there's an update, there's there's always something I like, but then there always has to be something I don't like. In this one, it just so happens to be that you don't always get XP for killing monsters. Now, I think it is only if you're near a mob spawner for a certain amount of time where the amount of XP is reduced. But, yeah. And the other thing that I really hate is the fact that I sometimes take fall damage jumping down a one block gap. So, that's a little annoying. But, whatever. Welcome back. I don't know what episode this is. I kind of stopped trying to f uh, say what episode it is because I never knew. So, as you can see, there's a lot of rotten flesh. That's because I was standing at this mob spawner for a long time trying to get some potatoes or carrots. I did actually get a potato, but no carrot. I was sitting here watching Yodi Slayer's uh, live stream. I don't know how long I was actually standing here, but it was a while. And I did, I did not get anything but one potato. And also, I want a little more XP because, as you can see, my armor is almost gone, and especially my feather falling boots I want back. So, I have diamond boots in my inventory, but I'm not quite level 30 yet. But what I'm going to do is... Oh, I didn't actually mention, but I am on the latest uh, snapshot or pre-release, whatever you want to call it. So I have my map mounted on the wall looks all pretty I guess I mean it'll look better if the map is like fully loaded but I wonder now that you can have it mounted on the wall if I go over there in the map even though I don't have it like in my hands I wonder if it will actually load up on the map I almost just walked down there completely forgetting about this so I'm going to kill these slimes, hopefully there are some, and that should bring me to level 30, but I don't know. Still a little worried about this, about how dark it is, but I think if I'm traveling on a minecart, I think I just go through the mobs, I don't think they actually affect me anymore. So I hear... crap. Completely forget about that, so I don't hear anything, and... Wait. No, I do not hear anything. What a shame. Maybe I won't get to do the enchantment in this episode. Maybe I'll have to do it next. But what we are going to be working on is... Oh, wow, that didn't stop me. Is uh, an automatic melon farm. Fully automated. Now, once I get back, I will show you what it is and like how it works. And it's not actually in this world. I didn't. I just got a little bit laid out. So I cleared my old pumpkin and melon farm, unfortunately, because that's like the third time I've done that. But whatever. So this is it. There's. It takes up a bit of room for only two plants, but maybe I'll expand it later. So what happens is, I think I'll do uh, pumpkins instead of melons because I'll probably be using pumpkins more than using melons. So what happens is the plant, or the pumpkin or melon grows here, and it completes a circuit and one piston crushes it and one piston pulls away the dirt so it can fall down in the water. And every, this isn't exactly the best way because sometimes they might get stuck on that block or on that repeater or that repeater but you can still pick them up through the glass and I also have this button here to manually do the pistons I do have a little bit of this laid out as I already said in this world right here but it really isn't much it's only redstone torch and two repeaters but, yeah, this isn't going to be like an in-depth tutorial. If I, if you actually want me to do that, then I, 
I'll probably do an actual tutorial video because this one's not going to be that great. This is just going to be me building. So, I just wonder, like, if I start, if I want to have, like, a cave under here, which I don't think it'll in interfere with this thing. It shouldn't. No, it'd be fine. I should really harvest this. Oh, I broke some wheat. Whoops. So, the reason I want, like, a cave under it is because then I could stack these up and have, like, I don't know, four layers of this. And I, I guess I could do it here, but that would look kind of ugly to have a bunch of stacks, like, of this just in the air. But whatever. No, I think I do actually need... Uh, stone half slabs. I'm probably going to need more than six, but I'll just get one side done for now, and then I will mirror it over later. And there we go. So hopefully, hopefully this won't take as long as uh, my last melon farm took, because that took a while, and that that was much more simpler than what I'm doing right now. Um, hopefully I won't need my sword. Sticky piston. So that goes there. And... Need a normal piston right... There. So that one crushes it, and this one pulls away the dirt. Um... So basically how this works is, uh... So right now this this isn't like the circuit isn't completed where if I put redstone then obviously the redstone will complete the circuit and it would crush the redstone but if there's a solid block repeaters can actually go through that block like that and it just so happens to work diagonally so that's what I'm doing oh wait I am actually going to need more redstone torches I think I only need three for this build and I've already got two built so let's make one more um let's see no that would not work actually I don't know I don't think it's flashing I feel like I would be able to notice if it notice it if it was flashing because I can see that flash but you never know I think I'm actually going to build this out of wood underneath it, just because, even though you're not going to see it, but it would look better. And also, I kind of just thought of this now, but in, uh, in my creative one where I test all my redstone, I have it on stone, and the stone half slabs look different, so you could see them on the ground. Whereas this, I can use wooden half slabs. I don't know why I'm not using wooden here, but... See, right there. I just took fall damage. I think... I think it's because I'm going over a gap. But... Y do you see this? I'm taking fall damage from... I guess I'm jumping. So a two fall... A two block fall. I don't take it from here, but... This needs to be fixed, or... And, like... Okay. Let's see if I can do this again without my feather falling boots. And, of course, now that I want to test this, it's not working. Maybe I just have to land on the edge of the block. I don't know. Whatever. It's confusing. I don't understand how it works. Um... Let's see if I remember. Let's see, the plant is going to actually be there, so... Then I think I'm going to have the water source right there. So, the water source would, does actually... Uh, I don't know what the radius is of how far the soil can be away from the water for it to actually be fertilized, but I know one block is 
going to work. Put that on the fourth one. Do I have any buttons? I should. Yeah, I have two buttons. And those go there, and... Huh. Oh. Oh, it's because, uh... Like, it flashes so fast, so... This, like, it doesn't work. Um... Let's get a pumpkin to test this. Let's put it right there. Dang it. Pick it up. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I think I had that on. Yup, that's what it was. I had that one on a delay. Let me just check my other world. Is it the fourth? Yeah, it's the fourth delay. Oh. So, actually, I don't want to say that this... This contraption is my idea, because I'm sure it's been built before. But I tried looking up videos of this, and, like, I typed in fully automated melon farm, and so far I haven't actually found one. Like, you might see a video titled fully automated, but you still have to, like, push a button to harvest it, which I don't think people understand what fully automated is but clearly that's not it so normally I wouldn't be sitting at the mob spawner like this but I want to get the carrots and I need a little more XP to reach level 30 Let's see how my cows doing I should get more cows so I know I did actually say uh, I was going to work on my pig farm but I still haven't gotten that figured out. Like, I know I did show you that thing with the dispenser and and uh, my creative, my redstone world, whatever I want to call it. I don't know. But I don't, I don't like having something like that. I don't like having the pigs in a two by whatever size hole. So. I was thinking I might want something like that where it would just push the pigs into the pit and then they will, well, then they burn up in the lava. Let's see, um, I probably would want to hook this up with a wooden pressure plate so I can, and then hook the pressure plates up to like a redstone lamp in my house so I can see if something is here. Um, and I did actually try to have in the my creative world, I did actually try to have this whole redstone circuit hooked up to note blocks so I could uh, so I would actually hear if it's ready. But for some reason, I couldn't get that to work. And I do not want to work on redstone stuff at night. So I'm going to... I could turn it to peaceful. Peaceful. I cannot talk right now. But I... Every once in a while, I still wanted to, like, look at or check on my mob spawner and kill what's there. So actually, my original plan... For that was to have the pumpkins and melons, I guess you could say, piped into set into my house. But I would have to have it like on the stairs, and that would look weird. So I didn't want to do that. That is supposed to be wood, and that is supposed to be wood. I think I have this. Oh no! Wait. Okay, never mind. Never mind. So then, that needs to be a half slab. This, I think this would create a rapid pulser, so yes, that needs to be a half slab. And I believe I broke the circuit. Let's fix that. There we are. Hmm. 
Oh, I do have some. Okay. So that goes there. And this can be normal. That can be normal. And half slab. I still don't like how you can't... I guess I sort of understand why it doesn't work. But I don't like how you can't put a, an upside down half slab on a redstone block. And... Nope. Still waiting for that to be implemented into the game. I really do not know what I would use that for, but it would be pretty cool if that was in the game. There's my dirt. Get that there. And... I... Where's my hoe? It should be in here. Yes, it is. So, oh, water there. Um, there we go. And I don't have any bone meal. So this does actually get fertilized through blocks. It, I kind of wish uh, the water would also fertilize, fertilize it like vertically but unfortunately it doesn't do that and what am I oh bone meal I don't have just straight up bone meal so I'm I'm still kind of oh well, I guess you could say I'm still waiting for the better enchanting mod to be updated but it's a little too late now because I'm already on the the snapshot, so I'll have to wait even longer. How's that look? Eh. Oh, I need I need glass so I can cover this up. And not only does the glass like keep out monsters and animals from like destroying this. But it also helps to keep, uh, like, the pumpkin in that area right there. So, yeah. But, I don't know if I have... I should have glass. I think I have glass left over from this thing. Uh, 45. That is more than enough. Um, and then I want it there, 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 there. This is silk touch, isn't it? Yes, it is. So if I misplace glass, no worries. That goes there. And now I just have to mirror this. But I won't record that. I will do that after this. What we have to do now is check back on the slime farm. So until I get uh, the, the pig farm situated of what I want to do, I think I might be working on... My pig, f or not pig, my slime farm. What the heck? Um. Uh, did I just duplicate a minecart? What the heck? That was. I am so confused. Minecraft logic does not. does not make sense. Crap, I came here with a full inventory. What am I supposed to get rid of? A stick. I'll get rid of that. Oh, here's spider. Slimes. Hopefully the world seed... Oh, crap. Um... I'll just stand here, spam the corner. Ow! This is not Call of Duty. You should not be able to shoot me around the corner. As I was saying, hopefully... There hadn't been, hasn't been any like 
changes in the world so that should still be a what am I doing that should still be a slime chunk I hope dang it I might have to settle for a level 29 enchantment I don't wait I don't even think I'll be able to get a level 29 I have too many bookshelves around it so oh before I can kill these cows I gotta remember to fix this I don't know what I'm not exactly sure what happened I pushed this button to reset it to get the cow back and for some reason uh, the detector rail and the repeater it like instantly sent the signal to that piston so it stopped him from being able to come back and I pushed this button again and somehow that piston, piston pushed the cow into the wall and he suffocated so I put half steps there just in case that were to happen again I put one there to be symmetrical and also in case that would happen again how oh that's right I'm up trap um if I can find stuff to kill I'll just go down to my zombie mob spawner Come on. There we go. I need to get level 30 to enchant it. If I get carrots, I'm going to be really happy. Hopefully I won't have to stay here for too long. What I probably should do is just like open this up so I don't have to wait for them to fall down there. Mm. I'll just make a stairway. You free. Dang it. <laughs> well, he's gonna fall and die. Crap, that means no XP for me. Shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Um... I will kill these though. Oh, he got a shovel. You gonna give me something? No, nope, nothing. Just rotten flesh. Not even XP. Yeah, he died. You know what? I'm gonna settle for a. Oh, well, he managed to get out. I'm going to somehow figure out how to get. I guess I do have a silk touch pickaxe so I can destroy some of the bookshelves but I'm gonna have to settle for level 29 enchantment I don't like that but it'll have to do push that back up there and hurry on downstairs unless we get lucky and a pigman spawns down here nope Let's see if this will even allow... No. Shoot, I'm actually going to have to go for a 28 enchantment because... I don't think you can get level 29s. It goes from 28 to 30. Uh, no. Why did I put a fence gate in there? 30, what the heck? 28. Mmm, feather falling four. I love you. Actually, no. I, I'm not gonna, I take that back because you just gave me, before this, you just gave me a level 30 Bane of Arthropods four. That, I don't like that. No. So, next episode, hopefully I will be working on my slime farm. I, I don't know what I'll be doing. So, and also if you want me to make a real tutorial about that fully automated pumpkin slash melon farm, please tell me and I will consider doing that. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.